Hello, hello, and welcome back to another ASMR video. Today's been a little longer one. This we got this briefcase. A whole bunch of board games like checkers, chess, backgammon. There's some cards in there too. Uh, there's some dominoes in there too. But it only has directions for a few of the games, so it's kind of weird. But yeah, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Here is the like briefcase type thing that holds everything. Sorry if the camera's shaking a little bit, the tripod legs are on the table that I'm currently, you know, <laughs> tapping on and stuff. So, the camera might be a little shaky, but hopefully it's not too bad. Let's see if we can do this. We have the uh, chess board first, or chess and checkers, I guess. Let's do this.
It's a nice chess board. some more of the felt on just the inside of the board or the case to make the back cabin board to the stripes and the felt. Letters, leather stripes. Yeah, white, 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 red. And back to white, red, white, and red. And then you have these little guys right here. inside. I have two of them, of course. I believe this is for the back cabin. For dice, I think. Which has this is how to play chess. You know how to play backgammon, and I don't know what this is. <laughs> if maybe, oops, if maybe this is also part of backgammon, or if it's its own game, maybe. I'm not sure. It also came in the box, and it is not, I don't believe, in the directions, unless it, uh, unless it is part of backgammon, but I don't know about that. Oops. 
don't know what that means. I don't know what this is, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. <laughs> and then we have these little dice. I don't know what these are for, but they have little symbols on them, like the king. King right here, we have that. This is 10, have ace, and things like that, jack. So I believe this has to do with the cards, which are right here. I don't know what you're supposed to do with them in relation to this other stuff, but See if I can do it in the air so you can see it better. Let's see, let's get that off. Let's see. <laughs> the water. It wasn't bad. At least it didn't go flying everywhere. So that is the playing cards. Which I also don't know what are for. Unless they're just here to be playing cards. You could do whatever with them. I don't know. There's some styrofoam right here. Then you have this tray. Chest pieces on this side and dominoes on this side. So let's go with the chest pieces. These are the black pieces. These are the 
white pieces, or in this case, the beige pieces. there. Or sorry, dominoes. <laughs> I don't know why it's the checkers pieces. Then we have the checkers pieces on this side. The black ones right here. Or the beige pieces. Uh, no, these are more white. They're like a cream white, off white kind of thing. I have a couple more. Also, the black one. over here. Some more dice, I guess. But a little bit different. So you have two black dice, regular six dice. Or six, I don't know what you call them. Six sided die. white dice. Eight. Four. And then we also have this die, which is another six-sided dice, but it has different numbers on it. So we have two. like a lot of the stuff in here.
So that is everything that is in this box. Wow, a lot of stuff in there. <laughs> um, and crazy enough, I bought this thing a couple of weeks ago um, at a thrift store. I believe it was um, I think it was from a uh, Salvation Army, and it was like four dollars for the whole thing. I just saw it, and it was like a little briefcase, and I was like, ooh. And I opened it up, and there was a bunch of board games. I saw the price tag, like six bucks. I was like, yes sir, I'll take it. Thank you very much. But now, we need to figure out how to do it. <laughs> because I don't know what most of this stuff is. But I guess first, first, I suppose we can do stuff that I do know how to play. So we can start here. So first, let's start with the chess and checkers, I suppose. Barely fits in frame all the way. Okay. So here's this guy. I don't know if it's like supposed to be a certain way, but I don't know, I think it matters very much for this instance. But yeah, let's open these guys up. Okay, so let's set up these pieces. Look at these little guys. This is cute. This little horsey. <laughs> I like it. It's very simple. Go here, or here. I don't remember. I think here. Yeah, right there. Or is it right here? No. Right there, I think. And then the queen. Is on the left. No, queen is right. What is this? Bishop. Some tall bishops. Wait, what is this? Is this not a bishop? <laughs> what? Or is this the king? Or is this queen? Oh, does the king not have a cross? No, he doesn't. Okay, so I think king, queen. Because then the queen have more of a rounded top. This is the bishop. Another horse. Oh, this piece coming off. So he doesn't stand straight. I can just take it off. A couple of them already came off anyway, so it's okay. Okay. This one's coming off too, a little bit. And the rook. Some more pawns. The rook. And then the other bishop. One side. Oh, it didn't come 
Oh, good. Oops, I killed the king already. Or no, the queen. Hers is also kind of messed up, but it's okay. This was the king, is it? Sides are now set up. All right. Now let's play a quick game of chess. Me against you. Ready? Right. You go first. You're white. This guy. Up one or two. Okay. Get okay, center. I like it. All right. I will pressure him. I do that. You want to move this knight? Right here, I presume. Okay. I am going to develop my bishop here. I'll take him right here. Okay. Your turn. This pawn. That pawn. Okay. Let's do. This guy, this guy, two, okay, interesting, interesting, I could do that, but I won't, because there's no reason to, um, let's see, I will do this, this guy, here, interesting, Oh, dang, I didn't even see that. My queen is now under pressure. Okay, let's do this. Take, okay. You have one piece. Okay, I'm gonna take here. No, I have one. Okay. This guy, to the edge. No, oh, here. Oh, okay. I will develop my rook in our old castle. That might be a little vulnerable for him, but we'll fix it in a second. Okay. You want to move this guy? Where one? Okay. I'm going to. How am I going to defend him? Move this guy up one. Take. Fine by me. So I'm gonna take this guy right here. So now you're defending. Okay. Like this. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Let me do. Let's move this guy up here. Uh, no, all these are attacked, defended, I guess. Hmm. I'll do this. Take. Man, you're getting all my pawns. <laughs> I'll take here. Oh, you pressure my queen, Jesus. Oh, but got your knight. All right, I'll take that. I'll take that. Okay. Racking up the pawns. I see, I see. I mean, I guess if you take them all off, <laughs> I have limited options, so that's something. You need this guy up? No, this guy. Up one? Okay, interesting. I'm not gonna fall.
that little guy right there. I don't, I don't need that. Instead, let us do. Let's bring this guy out. He's been kind of sitting idle for a while. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, he's leaving him open though. I don't have anybody that can attack it, but still. Alright, let's... Do I take the opportunity to advance, or do I run away from him? I think I advance. Let's go there. Yep, okay. You got your first big piece, alright, I respect it. I... Oh, I could take your knight here. Yeah, I like that. I got both the knights. Not bad, not bad. You're gonna take, you're in a castle. Okay. I will uh, do this. Get this guy. I will move this guy. Oh my god. So you can tell I'm a freaking beginner at this game. <laughs> like, for the most part, you know? For the most part, I play online. For you, I don't know. I can't really tell. But, you know, this wouldn't happen online. Because it would just tell you automatically. This is my king. This guy is on the same file as him. And I, we haven't even looked at him the whole time. He's just been hiding there. Even though he's been in checkmate the entire time. <laughs> you know what? I'll just forfeit there, we'll say. Game is over because he's been sitting there like that for 10 minutes. So, I lose. Alright, let's call that a game. Okay, now, how about a game of checkers? Alright, if I'm being honest with you, I don't remember all the rules to checkers. So let's see. I have to play checkers. I have to take all the opponent's men. I want to position your own men so that they cannot move. Start the game. Lots are drawn. What? Or a coin is corn. <laughs> or a coin is flipped to decide who plays the dark pieces in the first game. What does that mean? I guess a coin can be flipped. That that works. So I don't have a coin. So about instead we roll a dice. Even numbers, you start white. On numbers, I start white. It was one. It went off screen, but it was one. I start. This place so that dark square is at the player's left. Oh, is it supposed to be like that for chess too? Probably. But it doesn't matter. I don't think that much at least. Okay. Players make only one move in a turn. The moves are confined to dark squares. Oh, really? And are made only on the diagonal. Individual pieces may move forward only. Doubled king pieces may move forward or backward. But what does any of this mean? A uh, piece may move only into a vacant square. Touch it, move it, unless a player states that he wishes to arrange his pieces properly in their squares. If he touches a piece, he must move that piece if it is playable. If the piece is not playable, he is cautioned. Should he touch an unplayable piece a second time, he automatically forfeits the game. The rule applies to all versions of the game. If a player does not make a move within five minutes, I don't care. Moving no capture. Unless taking an opponent's piece, a player may only move his piece into an adjoining dark square diagonally in front of him. Okay. Moving. Capturing. A piece may be captured if it is in a square touching that takes a square, and there is a vacant square directly behind, directly behind the piece to be captured. 
any number of pieces. Okay, yeah, so you like jump over it. All right, that's fine. Uh, failing to capture, a player does not capture his opponent. His piece when he's able to do so, the opponent must tell him. Interesting, and force him to return his piece to make the capturing move. What? That doesn't make much sense. Okay. Kings or chronic. When a piece reaches the farthest row on the opponent's side, known as a king's row, it becomes a king. It is crowned. That is a piece of the same color is placed on it. When the piece is crowned, the turn ends. The newly made king may not move forward or backward on the board. When neither player can take all his opponent's pieces nor prevent him from making a move, the game is tied. Okay. I don't know how many you set up. Oh. Each player places his 12 pieces on the dark, playing squares in the three rows nearest to him. Player with dark pieces move first. Oh, shoot. So you move first. <laughs> I thought white move first. Which? Okay. So I'm white. You are dark. So it's just 12. I think it's more than 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Maybe that's for like crowning and stuff. I guess. Put them right here. Okay. 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12. Okay. So you start with that. You're gonna go here. Okay. I will go here. You go here. Okay. I will move here. <laughs> Damn. It's like the only move you can make without. I will go here. You gotta do it. You gotta kill one of them. There. Oh, damn. I guess you can't kill. I guess I can't kill that guy. But you can't kill me either, so that's fine. I'm gonna do this. Okay. I do this. I can't do anything there. Or no, I can't. I have to do that. Okay. And you want to go where? Right here. Okay. I am going to go here. Here. I'll go here. Here. You said you wanted to go here. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I'll go here. Okay. Interesting. So now you go. You want to go here? Wait, no, not that one. This one? Here. Here. Okay. So now I gotta do this. And you wanted to do this. Interesting, interesting. Oh. Okay, very nice. Then I'll do this. So now you can't take You want to do this guy. Okay. I'll do this guy. This guy. I'll do that guy. This guy. Oh, jeez. Make two piles. 
you here. So I think I'm winning. No, I think we're tied. Five to five. Yikes. Go here. You want to go here? I'll go here. Ooh. Thank you very much. King time, baby. King time. Okay. Here. I'll go here. Yes. Ooh, 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 okay. I'll go. I'll go here. You want to go here? No. Uh, what did you say? This this one. This one. This one. Here. Okay. Then I'll go with this guy. My God, I'm telling you, man, I'm an amateur at this. So this would have had to been moved a while ago, but we'll just let it pass for now. It doesn't matter. <laughs> okay. Who's sure is it now? I guess it's yours. Here. God, why did I do that, actually? I'm dumb. I was thinking, like, he'd capture, but that's not how that works. Whoops. Oh, but then he captures. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. So if you're a king versus two of mine and this guy, I think it's... <laughs> I think that might be over.
Fett gibt. Okay, equipment, board with 24 triangles, 1 points, 15 playing stones, or pieces for each player, one pair of dice, and one doubling cube. Okay, so I imagine that the one pair of dice, I could use these guys, and I imagine that this is the doubling cube. Now for the... 15 playing stones, I don't know what that is. Oh, that's probably the checkers, and that's why there's 15 of each. Okay, that makes sense. Let's get these guys back up then. So, um, now we have all that, it's going to say, to move all one stones or pieces, oh wait, here it shows less, what is this, one, two, three, four, five, ten, yeah, it's fifteen, okay, um, so to move it into one's inner table, what? Oh, so it's like outer table, inner table, or other way around, doesn't matter. Okay, and then white, black. Okay. Uh, let's see. Where was I? Oh, I think that's what I said. Oh, to the inner table, and then off the board. So you kind of move that way. Okay. To start, each player rolls one of his dice, and the player with the highest number moves first. The first move is made with the two pieces in position as shown in the diagram. Oh, so they all start like this? Interesting. I'm gonna keep reading first. Um, where was I? <laughs> as shown in the diagram, and using the two numbers shown on the dice. Okay. Or if the player chooses he may roll the dice again and use the noodle he can do it again that's crazy initial and succeeding moves can be made with any stones okay how to move each player moves by throwing the dice and then moving the total numbers shown this is done by moving either two stones one from each number shown or one for each number shown huh oh okay so like one stone for one dice and one stone for the other dice. Okay. Or moving one stone the total of two numbers. Okay. The player may move a stone to any open space, any space already occupied by one or more of his stones, or a space already occupied by only one of his opponent's stones. See hitting. When moving, a player may jump over his opponent's pieces. The pieces are conveniently called black and white, even though they are, they may, they may be of two other contrasting light or dark colors. Okay. Closed point. A point that is occupied by two or more of an opponent's stones. Okay. 
your stone cannot be moved to a closed point. Example, with a roll of 5-5, five, five, black cannot bring a stone from W1 to W11 because the white stones on W6 prevent him from landing there. Okay, that didn't make sense, I'll be honest. I, I was <laughs> I was checked in for the rest of that, but that part didn't make sense, any sense. So I imagine this is like W1. And then 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12. What? 8, 9, 12, 10, 11, 12. So he can't move from here to here. Because the white stone's on 6. Oh, okay. So it looks like these guys can't move over there because of these guys. But that doesn't make sense. Because you can't just pass over them. Why can you pass over three? Hold on, let me read that again. <laughs> uh, black cannot bring a stone from W1 to W11 because the white stones to be 6 for running from landing there. That still doesn't make sense. How to move? Uh, any player may move a stone to any open space, any space already occupied by one or more of his stones, space already occupied by only one of his opponent's stones. player may jump over his opponent's pieces. So why can't he go over there? That doesn't make sense. Um yeah I don't I don't know. <laughs> I think it's maybe it's because if you rolled um Maybe it's saying if you rolled that, you had to go one piece all the way here, rather than both pieces five, because they land here. Or what does that mean? I don't know. We'll figure it out later, maybe. Um, doubles. When a player rolls doubles, he moves four times the number. Jesus. Shown on one of the dice. Oh, on one of them. Um. Example, on a roll of 5-5, five, five, he would move four stones, five totals each, or five points each. Okay. When a player is able to move one of his stones to a space occupied by only one opponent stone, this is a hit, and forces that opponent stone off the board. The player cannot move any of his other stones until all of his hit stones are re-entered on the board through his opponent's inner table. Hmm. This is so complicated. This is done by rolling the dice until a number shows equal to a point onto which he can move the stone. What is going on right now? What is happening? So it's like, if this is the inner table, this is one, and this is 12. Oh, no. no, I don't think so. I think this is 12. Or maybe, I don't know, because it shows outer for both on this side, and inner for both on this side, rather than it being like swapped, and this being outer, this being outer, for the opposite colors. So, that would mean that to bring it onto the opponent's side, you'd have to land like a 12 or an 11, I think, or 10 or something like that, somewhere on here, from 7 to 12, and then you can bring them up there, I think is what that means. Um, um, equal to the point onto which he might move a stone. Okay, yeah. Bearing off. Bearing off. This commences when all the player's stones are in his inner table. He can, he can then roll the dice and remove stones when they coincide with the number thrown. Hmm? Huh? Example, dice throw is 4-3. The player removes on stone... Removes on stone? Removes one stone, maybe. <laughs> removes one stone from point four and one from point three. Oh. Wait, but how is it point three and four if it's on the inner table? Wouldn't this be seven to twelve? Now I'm confused. <laughs> this is so hard. Um, I guess I have the number down, I guess I have a, I have a, 
If a player is unable to remove a stone, he must make a move inside his inner table. When a number is thrown higher to any point occupied than a stone, then a stone is removed from the next lowest occupied point. What? This procedure is followed until all stones are removed. The first player to bear off all stones is the winner. Doubling cube. At any time during the game, a player can double the game by putting the doubling cube in front of his opponent. This is usually done when he feels that he has the advantage. His opponent has three options. Accept the double and continue the game. Redoubling the game if he feels he can win. Um, if he does so, he keeps the cube to use it again if he desires. Once a player doubles, he cannot double again until his opponent doubles him or refuse to double, in which case he forfeits the game. The doubling sequence is as follows. 2, 4, 8, 6, 16. Or, sorry, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64. What the heck does this mean? <laughs> Gammon and backgammon. If a player has not removed his first stone from the board before his opponent removes his last stone, he loses loses a gammon which is equivalent to two games what if in winning a player has removed all his stones from the board before his opponent has brought all of his stones from the former's inner table it is a backgammon and equivalent to three games dude i don't get this at all i literally don't understand this at all so instead we're going to do a very simplified version of what I think this game should play like, <laughs> kind of thing. So we're going to have our 15 guys. They're all going to start on this side. <laughs> and then, okay, maybe not. We'll do six here. What did it say? I think it was five here. Six. Oh, let me look at the thing. So we'll start the pieces the way they show it still. So like this. So you have five pieces right here. And then I have five pieces right here. Okay. And then I have five, three pieces over here. So I have five pieces over here. And then the last two pieces are right here. Make sure it's all in a frame. Okay. And then... pieces right here. Five pieces right here. Two pieces right here. Okay. So there's the start, just like how it's supposed to be. The way we're going to play it is a lot simpler. So this guy we're not even going to use because he doesn't make sense at all. Instead, and then to make it funner, we're going to use these guys. It didn't say anything about these guys. I imagine you use them. Maybe. I don't know. These will be used too. Take the dice and roll them. So there's one of each. And then for moving, you are going to roll first, I think it said. Actually, oh, we didn't even decide the colors. Whatever, this cell will go. And I think dark decide, or dark goes first. So you would roll yours. Um, you would roll yours first. And say that's eight. So you can move one piece, eight squares, or eight things, or two pieces, four things. Um, and you can jump over anything you need to, but the one you land on has to be empty or whatever. So all those kind of same rules, except you can jump over this. I don't know why I was saying you can't. So we're gonna 
probably a little differently, but yeah. So you go first. We'll just say that was your that was your roll. It was four and four. So you want to move one eight. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? One, two, three, four, five, six, or six. Eight. Yeah. Okay. So now your guy's here. And then we just need to get it all the way off the board. And that's it. <laughs> For these guys, we gotta go like this, we'll say. I don't know if that's how it actually goes, but whatever. Good enough. So now actually knowing that, <laughs> I think you wanna move something else, okay? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm gonna roll. That was barely a roll, it was like a plop. Rolled a six and a five. So I gotta get mine off here. Wait, no, that doesn't make sense. Because that means that this is the start and this is your start. So we'll do the same way. We'll both go this way, but then these guys have to go this way. Okay. So six and five. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five. And we'll hit him. <laughs> Which I think means that I just. I, um, that he gets removed, I guess. I think. So now he gets removed off the board. So we'll put him, put him in here for now. And um, he's in the gulag, <laughs> so he has to roll his way out next turn. And then my other guy's gonna go five. So one, two, three, four. Wait, what? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that was the five then. And then for the six, we'll do this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And so now you gotta roll your guy out. And we'll just do like Monopoly and get out of jail rolls. If you roll a double, he comes back. Or no, how about this? <laughs> I don't know how many of up as I go. Um, if you roll Jesus, I don't know. If you roll doubles, you get out. If you don't, it has to be greater than 10. <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. We'll just say roll doubles, you get out, and you put him all the way at the back. Not doubles. How about this? It's like, it's kind of like get out of jail, where you have to roll doubles to get out, sort of. But, if you roll, this is hard. I don't like this game. <laughs> How about they both roll? If yours is higher than theirs, or yours is a double, you get out. Okay, so I rolled eight. You rolled six. So your guy's still in jail. Just for the sake of speed. Actually, whatever. Okay, so now it's my turn. I rolled a five and a four. So I'm gonna take this guy. One, two, three, four, five. And this guy, one, two, three, four. invented <laughs> all right eight total so let's do one two three one two three four five six oh no five i don't think you can go there actually so let's do instead one two three four five Okay. 
Ooh, you got me. All right, so you got 10. So you start here and then go 10 up. We'll do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten. But there's two people here, so instead you can do one, two, three, four, five. Hit my guy off. He's in purgatory. And then you can do this guy five. Okay. Now we gotta roll again, because I gotta get my guy out of purgatory. Ooh! Twelve bomb. Kill me. Kill me, Smalls. You roll the twelve again, Jesus. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute, I'm so dumb. These guys are trying to leave that way. <laughs> oh my god. Where'd the other guy go? This guy. Where'd these guys go? What? Now I'm confused again. <laughs> oh jeez. This is terrible. Is it this guy? Yeah, he moved up eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. I don't know. This is terrible. You know what? We'll say this guy escaped. He got off the board. He's done. Um, and then we'll say this guy is here. Wait, no. We'll say that this guy is... Oh yeah, we'll say that he was here. And then he got here. That's good enough. Whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, and then you just got 12. So 6. And 6. So we go... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Can't work. Actually, you could do both these guys 6. This is another rule I invented. <laughs> These guys are both not in a purgatory. These guys go there. Okay, so for me to roll out a purgatory, I need to beat you, and then that gets... We'll say it gets all three people out. Screw it. We gotta speed this up. <laughs> God, the plane is so loud. say it was seven so they all start on your end and then we'll just say I have to split the seven so that they're all good so one three so that's four five six seven we'll do that it's good enough okay and you roll a nine Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, five. Hit my boy in the purgatory. Thank you very much. And I lose that. Now it's your turn. You have fours. You need one. One, two. No, it doesn't work. We'll do one, two, three, and then one. Jesus, man. Jeepus. Oh, I gotta get out. I win with nine. So he starts here. Could go nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ooh, hit your guy in a purgatory. Okay. New rule, you can leave your guys in purgatory, but you have to get them out to win, kind of thing. And you're going to leave them for now. What? Five. Uh, one. And then. One, two, 
three, four. No, I'm going the wrong way again. Jesus, man, this is so hard. Even the thing I made up is hard. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two. Okay. Seven. So I'll get this guy off the board. And this guy off the board. Just to make it just to make the board look look better for my eyes, for my eyeballs. Okay, and you're gonna do the same, get both these guys off. They escaped. I think I don't know, whatever. Four and four. One, two, three, four. Hit your hand of purgatory. And four. Okay. Seven. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. He escapes. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. He escapes. <laughs> he escapes this crazy game that I'm in. It doesn't make any sense. Good for him. All right, let's do two, get out. One, two, three. escape and one here knock your guy to purgatory okay and then you want to get your three out of purgatory oh not good enough i'm going to roll got six Let's do two and one, two, three, four. Seven, no, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think I got it right. <laughs> Eight. Very nice. Okay, so you do one, two. And then one, two, three, four, five. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. Is to move these three guys out of here in a way that makes sense. So I'm gonna do zero for this guy, two for this guy, and now one, two, and two. We'll do that. Okay. That is pretty good. So now you block me, so I have to get at least one, two, three, four to get those guys out. Which doesn't happen, so instead I will do. Wait, no, these guys are going this way. Never mind, that doesn't make any sense. Wait, but then your guys would be going. Oh my god. So these guys actually enter here. Like that. 
There we go. Now we're making progress. So I got three. Let's go. One, two, three. Ooh, a nine or ten. <laughs> Man, I'm not good at math. Okay. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's seven. So let's do one, two, three, four, five. Get that guy out right now. I'm getting out here. Jesus, man. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I don't even understand this game. And we made it kind of for the most part. <clears throat> okay. At two and a four. Let's, let's do two here and get him out. One, two, three, four. A five and a six. I will do. Five to get him out. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get him over there. Five and a two. Two to get him out. One, two, three, four, five. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, looking good. Okay, three, one, two, three, and a six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, get him out. Four, one, two, three, four. You're in purgatory. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get him out. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. One, two. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Wait, no. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, another purgatory bag. Easy. All right. So they're both here. And do one, two, three, four, five. No, they're both here. Jeez. One, two, three, four, five. And then four. Okay. Let's do two to get out. And six. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Wait. Yeah, okay. That works, that works. Ooh, a nine bomb. One, two, three, four, five, six. And five. That's the wrong one. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Get them out. And two. Back to purgatory. Six and a four. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. That doesn't work. Six. Brutal. Okay. One, two, three, four. Seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four to get out. And one, two, three. Back in the purgatory for you. I'm gonna get them out. Okay. By one, I win that. So I get to win. seven. Let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four. Four to get out. Boys out, okay. Respect it. And oof by two. Don't get that. Eight total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I hate one, two, three. I know. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To escape. We'll do four to escape. And five. Okay, I'm gonna get boys out. See if it happens this time. And it looks like it does by one point. Crazy. Okay. So they both have to they both have to move. So you do one, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Ooh, a twelve. A twelve cannon. Okay. Let's see. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Back in the purgy, baby. <laughs> Let's take him out. He escapes. Now you go. I'm gonna get your guy out. And it looks like you don't do it. Yikes. I also want to try getting my guy out. 
And it looks like I do it. By quite a while, actually. And use one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Back in the purgy, baby. Try to get all these guys out first. Okay, we'll take these guys out. Bolt escape. On the road to victory, baby. I can smell it. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then one, two, three, four, five. Ooh, this is getting a little close, a little tight race. Why did I roll that? Too late now. Alright, he escapes. And then that's all I can do. Because I forgot. Get the guy out. And you do it. With eight. So he goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh god. <laughs> Whoops. I don't want to get my guy out for a toy. That's all I can do. Oof. No. Oh wait, that was me. Okay. And then he goes eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Very nice. I'm almost there. Six and a one. One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, four, five, six. And one. Ooh, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's the GG's. I think it's the GG's. Four to escape, three to get here. <laughs> Two. Ooh, it's getting tight, it's getting tight. Okay, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, and there's the escape. Very nice. Honestly, I think if you played that with somebody, like it'd be kind of dumb and a little bit boring at the beginning. <laughs> but I think it can get a little heated up. I think that's that was kind of fun. Even though I was literally just rolling dice and moving little circles, but that was kind of fun. I don't know. It's interesting. Alright, well thank you for watching this weird little video i hope you enjoyed hope you got at least some tingles from it maybe found it entertaining maybe learned something maybe got to judge me i don't know whatever it is hope you enjoyed and thank you if you made it this far. Thank you, because this is a pretty long one, I would say. Um, but yeah, who knows? Maybe I'll do a real backgammon thing in the future, or maybe we'll do like board games against other people. Like in real life, that could be kind of fun. Like chess against people. Um, but yeah, more stuff to come. Thanks for watching. If you made it this far, please like and subscribe. You know what it is. And um, hope to see you next time.